Dear friends, in this video, I'm going to show you another method of doing remote debugging. In the previous video, we have seen how you can configure remote debugging. Let me show you the second option of remote debugging. For this, first of all, on your UAPA Studio, click on debug and come to remote debugging. Click on configure remote debugging. Here, there are two different options remote machine, unattended robot. Yesterday, in the previous video, we have seen remote machine. Now, we are going to see unattended robot setup. Now, for this, what you do, log into remote machine. In case you don't have a remote machine, this video will be quite helpful. So, this is my remote machine. And in the remote machine, if you look at my UiPath assistant is connected. This is, the, this is the unattended license that I have. Now let me click on preferences, orchestrate settings, and you can see my UiPath assistant is connected using the machine key. And this is the unattended license. Now, once my UiPath assistant is connected, next thing you have to come to your local machine. Here you need to select the second option, unattended robot. Once you select this, here it will give you, automatically it's going to detect how many different uses are there in your orchestrator. So here if I click on, I'll be able to see my PC. So here all you do is simply click and select the options. So here I've selected the user, the machine name, the host name. In this one, there's also another option called show live stream. Check this in case you would like to see the live streaming happening. But this depends on the kind of connectivity or the speed that the remote PC has so that it can send the live stream. Okay, Because I have already connected and there is already a live stream is happening through the remote PC. You can see this is my remote PC. So let's see how it works. Once this is done, all you are doing is simply selecting unattended robot, selecting the user, selecting the machine and PC. That will automatically reflect based on the number of unattended robots that you might have on your orchestrator. It will automatically populate. Okay. Now, all I have to do, hit on save. Now, I'll go to debug and I'm going to click on debug file. If, when I do this, look at the output panel. What are the things that is happening? It is uploading the project. Then it says connected. It is connected now to my remote PC. Okay. It is connected to my remote PC. I'll keep this one open in case just to see. Okay, so it is connected and it will take few minutes for it to, in the, in the previous one you have seen, it was sending the dependencies, the packages into the remote machine. Yesterday I have shown you this, right? Using the, um, the previous setup. Okay, using the, so now here we are running the remote debugging using the UiPath assistant or the UiPath robot, unattended robot we are trying to. Now look at what is happening here, project uploaded and here the live streaming has started, the live streaming. Now for me, this is not working because my, the previous computer ha is slightly bit slow and it is not able to send the streaming because it's already sending streaming here in this window. Okay, so this is my live uh, remote PC. So in this one, if you look at this project uploaded, agent is initializing, transferring projects. So whatever project is there on this PC, right? This all are getting transferred. Okay. And let me keep that open. Okay. Look at it. Transferring project, project transferred, assemblies transferred, restoring NuGet packages, right? Package restore automation with execution started. Now if you see the execution has started and if I look at my remote PC, uh, the live streaming is yet trying to get that but again it's not happening. So I have kept my remote PC open here. You can see the execution of that message box has been done. So you can see like if you have multiple activities, you can debug one by one. You can do step into, step over and all those things that you use for debugging can be done. But I've kept it pretty simple just to understand how it works. Right? For everybody, it may not be possible to, you know, do it test, you know, to check this live. So here you can see it is happening live on the remote PC. The activity has come. Now, if I click on OK, 
the execution will complete okay so now you can see the execution has completed so this is another way of doing the remote debugging what is the another way there are two ways that we have learned one is unattended robot the other one is remote machine these are the two options available remote machine and unattended robot both the examples we have seen now from the exam point of view what are the important factors that you need to understand now look at this in the setup remote debugging this are this is the important aspect when you go for remote machine connection studio sends the list of project dependencies and activity feeds package sources to the remote robot which uses the feeds provided by studio to download the required packages so studio sends the list of project dependencies and activity feeds in the unattended robot studio sends only the list of project dependencies okay activity feeds it doesn't send the activity feeds it sends only the list of project dependencies not the activity feeds studio sends only list of project dependencies to the remote robot which uses orchestrate of feeds and the activity feeds configured on the remote robot to download the required packages now what is the meaning of this so here studio sends the list of project dependencies what is the meaning of this now if i open my studio when is when it says studio from this local machine it is sending it to the remote machine so this is my studio so this is the list list means this is the name you have the excel activity you have the mail activity system so this is the list this is the name it is sending the names of the dependencies required for this project that is the meaning list just the name now the second thing and activity feeds what is the meaning of activity feeds activity feeds means in the bracket they have written package sources so this is the name but actually this has if you look at if you go to your design and manage packages what is happening whenever you are trying to install any of the package this is the source right source means it is coming directly and you are getting downloaded to your local pc right so now all this activity package that you see in the project has been downloaded the entire some mb it could be some mb of uh, download might have happened for all of these dependencies so that is called source the actual uh, activity source okay so package sources so it is already downloaded to your studio now what it does when you go for a remote which uses the feeds feeds means remember the source the actual package okay which uses the feeds provided by the studio to download the required package that means from your local machine this packages that are downloaded to your local machine on your hard drive those will be sent to the remote machine so it is the source is your local studio from here it is going to be sent to the remote machine to the remote machine okay so this is the meaning so if you go for remote connection it is sending directly from your local machine to here the packages are sent here now what is the difference the difference i am going to show you the difference is if you go for unattended robot connection studio sends only the list of project dependencies so here it was sending the activity fields also right the sources also it was sending here it doesn't have to send that why it doesn't have to send because it is a unattended setup that means your remote machine through the unattended setup is also connected to orchestrator so it doesn't have to send it so what it does then how it downloads those packages so it says it uses two different sources one is orchestrator source and you might have already downloaded onto your onto your local machine right you might have already downloaded if you have installed studio and all that right so it might it first it check the orchestrator feeds and also check the activity feeds locally available in that remote machine so directly it will utilize that if it is not locally available it will use the orchestrator feed means remember the source the actual source so to conclude what is the main difference it sends the list of the names it sends what are the dependencies and also the actual package source from the local studio to the remote machine here it doesn't it only sends the list just give me the name you don't have to send me the source i will download it from orchestrator feeds or the locally available feeds okay that is the difference now as you have understood the two different setups of remote debugging i'll try to come up with certain questions and see how we can answer them